Now at this point, you should have given this question a good try. So let's just jump in and see how you did. Let's set our main variables to start and we see that we're supposed to determine how many small and large shelves that Jerry should be buying. So let x equal the number of small shelves and y equal the number of large shelves. Now that can be switched if you want, as long as you keep track. First, we're told about floor space. Small shelves take six meters squared and large shelves take eight meters squared. And our maximum floor space is 72 meters squared. So our first inequality, 6x for the space of the small shelves plus 8y for the space of the large shelves. And that all has to add up to be equal or less than 72 meters squared. Now back to our question. And we see that small shelves are $10 each, large shelves are $20 each. And he has a total shelving budget of $140. So our second inequality, 10x, the total cost of small shelves, plus 20y, the total cost of large shelves, and that all has to be equal or less than 140. A couple of extra restraints in our system would be x is equal or greater than zero and y is equal or greater than zero, as we can't make a negative number of either shelf size. So we've established our system of equations. Back to our question, and we see that we're trying to maximize our volume of shelving space. So our objective function would be a formula for volume. Now if each small shelf holds eight meters cubed and each large shelf holds 12 meters cubed, then our total volume would be 8x plus 12y, or the total volume for our small shelves plus the total volume for our large shelves. And we'll save this equation for our final analysis. Okay, so on to our next step. That is to take our system of inequalities and make a graph. So we'll go to Desmos. And we enter all of our inequalities into Desmos, and then we take a look at our graph. And this is our allowable region in this case. Okay, on to labeling and identifying our vertices for this region. Let's call our vertices A, B, C, and D. And reading the locations of our graph for each of these points, A is found at 0, 0. And this is a situation where Jerry buys no shells. B represents no small shells and only seven large shells, so zero comma seven. C is where he buys eight small shells and three large shells. And finally, D is where he buys all small shells, 12 of them. Now our four points here represent our maximum and minimum volumes. So we just need to determine which is which. Taking our vertices and using our volume equation from before, will determine the volume at each one of these points. Plugging in the numbers for point A, we get a volume of zero. And that makes sense. If he doesn't buy any shelves, we have no shelving volume. At B, only large shelves, and that would give him a volume of 84 meters cubed. And at C, a combination of small and large shelves, 100 meters cubed. And finally at D, all small shelves would give him 96 meters cubed. So our maximum volume, it happens at C. And we can state that Jerry's maximum shelving volume, that is 100 cubic meters, can be achieved by purchasing eight small shelves and three large ones. 